Hello, and welcome to our presentation on ineffective work, presented to you by myself, Adil, Nick, Catherine, Timothy, and Wiltaro. Our presentation today will consist of the following agenda, the definition of ineffective work teams, symptoms of ineffective teams, the importance of effective teams, groupthink, real life examples, which is the Ocean Gate Submarine Implosion and the Tesla Model S development. And finally, recommendations on how managers can overcome ineffective work teams. So, what is an, effect, what is an ineffective work team? Zajak's paper on overcoming challenges to teamwork defines ineffective teams as a group of individuals who are unable to work together to achieve their goals or objectives. Ineffective work teams are a bad work practice as it leads to a toxic work environment and inefficiency. However, prolonged effects of ineffective teams could lead to a loss of income to the company and impact the company's business. To overcome this, managers could look for the following symptoms of ineffective teams so that they may come up with strategies to overcome them and build effective teams. The following are symptoms of ineffective teams. Number one, lack of unity and cohesion, identified by a lack of small talk amongst colleagues. Two, disorganization. Team members are unaware of their responsibility, usually caused by a lack of communication. Three, absence of trust, another consequence from a lack of communication, but also due to unresolved conflicts between team members. Four, lack of self-analysis, identified by a lack of self-awareness of team members. And five, groupthink. This will be explained further in the upcoming slides. Now over to Will Taro. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Joel Tario. Uh, thank you, Adil, for explaining for uh, what ineffective teams are. Now, before we go into effective teams, let's define what Kozalski and Ilgen said in their article about effective teams. A team is basically a group of people who work together towards a common goal. Each person in the team has specific role and they all rely on each other. It's like a sports team where everyone has their own position and they're all aiming to win the game. Now, uh, let's see why having a effective team uh, matters. First of, first of all, they, they adapt to new situation, to new business environments. Secondly, they, people, who are, people who are more motivated when they're part of a strong team that get things done. The third one is uh, when the environment, business environment is tough and unpredictable, a strong team is the difference between success and failure. Now let's talk about uh, the key benefits of an effective teamwork. First of all, diver having a diverse skill set in a team where everyone brings something unique to the table is like making a complex dish with all these different ingredients. You know, um, the second is having a better problem solving. When people brainstorm together, they have uh, more ideas and better solutions. Then, uh, and the next one is adaptability. Good teams can change and adjust easily based on the environment. And the fourth one is more having more engaged employees. When people feel like they're in a part of a team, they're generally happier and they do better at their job. Now let's talk about uh, how ineffective teams can harm these benefits. Of course, not all, all teams work well because some of them can cause problems. The first one is having a bad decision making. Sometimes people in a group take riskier decision than they would do alone because they would just go along with what other people is saying. Second of all is dysfunctionality. This is when people uh, like have issues like lack of trust and avoidance of responsibility uh, in the team. This is like a machine where one part isn't working and the whole operation is just messed up. The third one is communication breakdown. If you ever played the game telephone, it's like the, the, the messages get mixed up uh, somewhere along the line and people get confused and this leads to bad results. The fourth one is having burnout and reduced post productivity. If there is too much teamwork and not enough individual focus, uh, people can get tired and less things get done. Now, I would like to pass on to Nick to talk about uh, group thing. Thank you. Today, I would like to share about group thing. Group thing is a phenomenon that happens when people come to an agreement without using critical thinking or weighing pros and cons. Group thing is based desire to maintain a, a group equilibrium. What are the characteristics of groupthink and how you can spot them? Groupthink affect how influential decision maker operates within the group. The first characteristic is illusion of unanimity. This phenomenon can lead the group to doubt their own concerns and misgivings. 
The second characteristic is unquestioned belief, which can be very dangerous. It makes a group member ignore the potential negative consequences because of, of their action. For example, a company can strongly believe in the project and it can face a significant financial loss due to the project being a failure. The third characteristic is rational, rationalizing. It's another aspect to watch out for. Sometimes we might overlook warning signs that challenges our belief. These signs can be valuable indicator that our decision needs to be very careful. Furthermore, stereotyping is another hurdle to effective decision making. When we pigeonhole a different point of view, we miss out on a diverse perspective that could lead to a better choices or better decisions. The fifth characteristic would be a mind guard, which prevent uncomfortable ideas or opposing thoughts from being heard in the group. This can sniffle critical decisions and hinder a sharing vital discussion. Lastly, direct pressure. People who raise questions might be looked down upon and considered disloyal or traitorous to the group's belief. What are the causes of groupthink? When group members are very similar to one another, group identity tend to be more prevalent. When a group has a strong sense of identity, its members are more likely to regard themselves as superior or right, while showing contempt and disapproval of people outside the group. The second cause will be because of the leader influence. Groupthink is more likely to occur when a leader is strong and charismatic in the group. The third cause would be because of low knowledge. People are more likely to participate in groupthink when they lack of personal knowledge of something or they believe that other people or members are more qualified than them. Lastly, groupthink is more likely to occur in a situation where there is extreme stress in the group or having moral dilemmas. Groupthink has the potential to make people ignore crucial information, which can ultimately result in bad, bad decision. One of the many effects of groupthink is an ineffective problem solving because the suppression of diverse viewpoint and original thoughts. Second effect of groupthink is in encourage group members to practice self-censorship. The tendency for group members to practice agreement over all other consideration means that they might not fully weigh the advantage and disadvantage of the decision. Additionally, Groupthink frequently causes individuals to believe their group has built-in morality or justice. This shifted perception of rightness can cause by stereotyped belief about other groups. Thank you for listening. I'll now pass it to Catherine. Now, we'll be providing real-life examples of ineffective and effective work teams. The first example is the Ocean Gate sub-implosion in 2023. In a brief overview of the unfortunate incident that unfolded in June 2023, the Titan, a submarine operated by Ocean Gate, embarked on a journey to the remains of the Titanic. However, what was expected to be a historic exploration took a distressing turn and the submarine imploded 12,500 feet below the surface. In a tragic conclusion to this mission, all the passengers were declared deceased. Now, let's focus on how group thing affected the tragic incident. The illusion of invulnerability. This is a common symptom of groupthink, where collective overconfidence leads group members to believe the organization that they trust are immune to making mistakes. In this narrative, the passengers who paid significant sums to board the Titan submarine believed that Ocean Gate was incapable of error. However, this overconfidence led to a tragic illusion of invulnerability. They placed their full trust in the organization, assuming a flawless execution of the expedition, and sadly, it resulted in a tragedy. As we further dissect the factors that contributed to this tragedy, we turn our attention to stereotyping and mind guards. These are two psychological phenomena that often occurs within group dynamics and decision-making processes. In 2018, an Ocean Gate employee raised a red flag regarding major safety issues with the Titan submersible. However, instead of addressing these concerns, the individual was terminated from the organization. This incident provides a clear example of mind guards. Individuals with reservations or contrary information were discouraged to maintain the group's positive outlook. Additionally, there was a distinct stereotyping at play. The opinions of those who pointed out potential risk were dismissed. 
they were viewed as impediments to innovation. Now, we'll look at an example of effective work teams by looking at Tesla Model S development 2009 to 2013. The collaborative triumph that resulted in the creation of this groundbreaking electric car, the Model S didn't just happen. It was the product of a cohesive team that managed to harness their diverse talents towards a common objective. So what did Tesla do right? In discussing the creation of this groundbreaking electric car, it's crucial to recognize the diverse collaboration and expertise that went into its development. The team that brought this car to life was composed of professionals from various fields, including engineering, design, and technology. Each team member brought their own distinct expertise and specialized knowledge to the table. The shared vision and goals were pivotal to the success of this revolutionary electric car. The team, united by a common aim, developing a high-performance electric car surpassing traditional vehicles, used this shared vision as their strategy compass. Each team member synchronized their individual goals with this vision, fostering a strong sense of purpose. This alignment fueled motivation, pushing boundaries, overcoming challenges, and inspiring innovative problem solving. Next, I will pass it on to Tim to talk about the recommendations. Unfortunately, since OceanGate is no longer able to receive our recommendations, we are recommending a few ways existing product innovation companies can build effective teams and minimize groupthink by learning from Tesla. Firstly, we recommend the company consider encouraging collaboration and shared vision through meaningful and intentional teamwork. Tesla has done so by having small and flexible meetings with an average size of four to six people, where only value-adding participants are invited. This is supported by Cross, who states that up to a third of value-added collaborations come from the three to five percent of employees. Companies can shrink their meeting sizes and lower the frequency of fixed meetings to prevent collaboration burnout and increase productivity. Next, companies can also consider Tesla's skip level meetings, which encourage employees to get the information they require from the source, whether it is from higher ups or different departments. This minimizes information loss, transfer time, and encourages the sharing of ideas between departments. The business performance improvements are improved employee satisfaction, productivity, and organizational resource allocation. Secondly, we recommend the company encourage collaboration through increasing diversity of thought. Tesla has done this by forming interdepartmental teams for projects. When Tesla first developed the Model S, it brought together a team of employees with differing expertise to offer their unique perspectives. This still contributes significantly towards Tesla's innovation strategy and avoiding groupthink. Tesla has also hired diverse people from different cultural, ethnic, and educational backgrounds. This has created strong teams with diverse viewpoints, which keeps each employee in check, lowering the chances of encountering groupthink characteristics. Business performance improvements are an increased chance of financial outperformance, in a 2019 McKinsey survey, it was recorded that gender diverse teams are proven to increase this chance by 25% and ethnic diverse teams by 36%. Furthermore, according to a BCG survey, companies with greater diversity also report a 19% increase in revenue from innovation. Lastly, companies can emulate Tesla's success in creating a shared vision by granting their employees' autonomy and accountability. Tesla has successfully achieved this by giving employees broad spans of controls of their jobs. This means that employees are not restricted by rules and customs. They are empowered to execute their duties how they deem fit, as long as it produces favorable outcomes for the company. Companies could question existing rules and whether they restrict the creativity and problem-solving abilities of their employees. Tesla has also inspired employees to think like owners. Employees are encouraged to question everything from internal processes to product innovation and come up with solutions like an owner of the business. They are enabled to fail quickly and often to test out unconventional methods and theories, but are expected to own their mistakes and take failures personally. Expected performance improvements are increased employee engagement, efficiency, 
uh, improve operational efficiency and quicker product innovation. Here are our references. Thank you. Any questions?